Well, we love seeing our first responders interacting in the community from police officers to deputies, troopers, firefighters and paramedics. They're all people who live and work right beside us. It's all part of humanizing the badge and creating positive relationships in the community. All of that makes us stronger together. So Trooper Steve is here now to give us some good news from our first responders. Hey, Steve. That's all that we've got from them, right? That's right. We love to hear good news and there's definitely some good moments to smile about this week. Let's check some stuff out. In Winter Park, Master Police Officer Rodriguez took the time to visit the Plymouth to hang out with some of his favorite people from the Senior Citizen Center. Everyone really liked um, their having a great time and we love to see those big smiles on them there. And in Flagler County, deputies went to the annual Surfers for Autism event. They helped direct traffic and hang out with the community. You can see even the canine unit and SWAT teams came out for some of the fun. And I love this photo. This is an awesome drawing in Lake County. Deputy Foss spent a little time with a family reporting a car burglar earlier this week. The family's child brought this out to them before he left. I love this because it shows that a child had a positive interaction with the deputy and from a, from a law enforcement standpoint, that's all we really want guys. So it's pretty nice. Orange County Fire Engine 65 at UCF just rescued this little feline about 50 feet down a storm <laughs> Rain. They say a lot of coaxing and a little bit of spray of water, of course, <laughs> helped free the kitten after workers at the, co at the uh, college's chiller plant heard meows. And a huge shout out to Seminole County Crossing Guards and, a, and the deputies, of course. You can see a deputy there giving the guard a hand, literally, in the rain. Seminole County School Superintendent Walt Griffin posted this photo thanking them for all their hard work keeping our kids safe. So it's pretty cool. Of course, if you have some of uh, the positive stories about our first responders, we want to hear about it. You can share them and find more stories like this anytime at ClickOrlando.com. And we have to give those crossing guards a shout out. I mean, this is Absolutely. a tough time of year for them, and they are doing one of the most important jobs out there right yeah, now. FHP Jacksonville just posted the other day about it. There was a crossing guard that got hit by a car, literally mm. pushed down on the floor, and gets back up. They, they continue. They, yeah. They've got to pay attention. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It can be dangerous. Mm -hmm.